In the last video, I showed you how to change uh, the WordPress theme to be uh, the videographer theme. Now, inside of the instructions for the videographer WordPress theme, it says download, it says upload it like any other WordPress theme. Now, the same way we just uploaded that last WordPress theme, you can upload any other WordPress theme. And then it says note, however, that this theme is meant for new blog workers, so that's fine. Step two. You need Jens Tornell's WP YouTube plugin. Upload your active and activate the plugin in your WordPress admin panel. So then it tells you to go to manage and then YouTube profiles and it tells you what to do. So let's go ahead and do that as well. So we need to download the plugin. So if we click here, it takes us to the website that has the plugin. Now there are many plugins uh, inside of or created for WordPress as well. I can show you here. Let me just go back to I'm going to go back. I'm going to sign in. And the great thing is it remembers that I've already signed in, so I'm already there. But if you click on plugins and if you scroll down to the bottom it says WordPress plugin directory and it gives you a big directory of lots of plugins that you can use. Um, so let me just show you some of the plugins that you could do. First of all, maybe you're a huge um, podcaster. So here it looks like there's a podcast plugin. Um, some other ones, just real quick. If we look, maybe you like different widgets. You can put some widgets inside. Uh, maybe you can put some polls, some stats. Maybe you want to change your dashboard, put an events calendar. There's a lot of different plugins that you can put inside here. Maybe you want to change your admin. Um, maybe you like sending out RSS feeds. So there's a lot of different plugins. But what we're going to do right now is we're going to work with the plugin uh, that is right here, the WP YouTube plugin. I'm just going to open this in a new tab. That way I can keep the instructions here. So I open it up in a new tab. I click on the tab. And it shows me right here. It just talks about the plugin and what, what it is available and lets you um, download the different ones. And here it says version 2 is out. Click here for WordPress YouTube 2.0. I'm going to go ahead and download that one. and just shows me below a screenshot of what it will look like. But let me just download that. takes me to the downloader page. So it says download WP YouTube 2. I'm going to save this one to the desktop as well. Go ahead and close this. And let's just make sure that it's downloaded to the desktop. I can close out of my old videographer. And there it is right there. Once again, to unzip it, you right click and you go extract all next and actually you can delete out this last part here otherwise it does like it did for the videographer it puts a folder inside of a folder so we can just delete that and we can go ahead and click on next finish and here it shows us the folder and we have looking at here you can see there's a couple of files YouTube preview and there's a couple of different things in here as well. So let's go ahead and click on back. Now we have these files. We're going to go ahead and upload these files uh, the same way we did before. To do that, you have to be logged in, and I'm still logged in here, into your cPanel and Lunar Pages. You go up to File Manager. It opens up a new tab. Let's make this window bigger so we can see it a little easier. Okay, so we go in here and we go to the same place. We have to go to our public underscore HTML. And in here we go to WordPress. The same thing we were doing before. WordPress content, that's what we're changing. Now this time though, instead of putting the files that we have inside the themes folder, we're going to put them in the plugins folder because this is a plugin. So I'm going to open up the plugins folder. 
and I need to make sure to name it the same thing that is named here. So to do that, let me just go ahead and create a new folder. Up in the top right, wp-u2, click create, and I have the file there, I'm, or the folder there. Let me go ahead and open up that folder. I'm going to now upload files. Let's just go ahead and browse and find our files. So let me just come out here and it's WP YouTube. So I have the WP YouTube dash PHP. Looks like there's a JavaScript file. And I'm going to go ahead and upload those. Now, inside of that folder, I remember seeing there was, yep, YouTube-Preview. And so we have to go ahead and put this inside here as well. So let's just go ahead and make sure we put it in, spell it correctly. We need to create that new folder. And we'll call that YouTube. YouTube dash preview click on create so let's go ahead and go inside this one upload files browse Okay, so now all the files are uploaded. So I should be able to go back to my my thing or my blog. Right there's the admin. So let's just go ahead and go back. And so now we should have our plugins. So click on those. WP YouTube plugin. So that's how you install the plugin. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can go and set up this plugin to make it work properly.